North Carolina is home to nearly 40 incredible snake species, each of which has unique adaptations and fills a special ecological niche. Of these species, only six are venomous to humans, and in today's video, we'll be learning how to identify these snakes and tell them apart from harmless lookalikes. First, let's look at the most common venomous snake in the state, the copperhead. Found in a variety of different habitats, from pristine forests to suburban developments, copperheads inflict more venomous snake bites per year than any other species in the US. Thankfully, they are also pretty easy to identify if you know what to look for. Copperheads have a very distinctive Hershey Kiss shaped patterning on both sides of their body. Not blotches, not stripes, Hershey Kisses. Copperheads can range in coloration, from brown to gray to red, but all will have this very obvious patterning. Additionally, as pit vipers, copperheads are typically very short in squat and body shape. Baby copperheads are even easier to identify than adults, as they possess a bright yellow or green tip to their tail, which is used to attract potential prey items. Most bites happen when a snake is accidentally stepped on or harassed. Wearing boots that cover your ankles and watching your step when walking outside are the best ways to avoid a negative encounter. Next, let's talk about the copperhead's aquatic cousin, the cottonmouth. Just like its relative, the cottonmouth has a similar Hershey Kiss shaped pattern on its sides, but are often even stockier and larger. Cottonmouths tend to be darker in coloration than copperheads, which can sometimes make identification difficult. Thankfully, this species exhibits a few unique behaviors that aid in identification. Often found near water, cottonmouths swim with their entire body floating on the surface, whereas harmless water snakes swim with only their head exposed. When threatened, cottonmouths will gape wide and expose the namesake white interior of their mouth, and rarely ever strike unless harassed beyond reason. This species is only found in the eastern third of the state, and while water snakes in the Nerodia genus are often mistaken for venomous cottonmouths, the only place where both exist together is in North Carolina's coastal plain. Three of NC's six venomous snakes are rattlesnakes, but only one is seen with any frequency. The timber rattlesnake is a large and robust rattlesnake with a beautiful black chevron pattern running down its back. While color varies widely among different individuals, it's almost impossible to miss this pattern. The second largest venomous snake in our state, timbers possess a large rattle made of interlocking keratin buttons, which they will use to ward off potential threats. Often heard before they are seen, this species only bites when their warning is not heeded. Most common in the mountains and coastal areas, Timbers are seen much less frequently than copperheads or cottonmouths, and usually make their location very obvious by way of their rattle. A much smaller rattler that calls North Carolina home is the pygmy rattlesnake. Often less than a foot long, these tiny pit vipers can only be found in the sandy soils of our coastal plain, where they spend most of their lives concealed beneath logs or artificial cover. Rarely seen, Pygmy rattlesnakes have a series of black blotches running down the length of their body, and share the same stocky body plan of other pit vipers. The last two snakes that we will cover in this video only exist with regularity in extremely small pocket populations in southeastern NC. You will almost never encounter either of these snakes in the wild unless you are extraordinarily lucky, but they are still NC natives, so I will still include them in this video. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake, the very serpent depicted on this famous flag, is the largest rattlesnake in the world. Just like the more common timber rattlesnake, these reptiles do not hesitate to make their presence known by way of their very large and very loud rattles. As their name suggests, a line of very defined diamonds adorns the dorsal region of these snakes, a pattern that no other NC species comes close to mimicking. Most supposed diamondback sightings are actually timber rattlesnakes, but either way, it's important to respect their distance and never attempt to harass these animals. Finally, 
let's take a look at what is arguably the rarest snake in all of North Carolina, the coral snake. The only elapid in our state, this brilliantly colored reptile is a relative of such company as cobras and mambas. You may have heard the old adage, red touches yellow, kill a fellow, red touches black, friend of jack, in reference to the species. A pretty useful rhyme, coral snakes do indeed have clearly defined red, yellow, and black bands running the length of their body. The only other snake that could possibly be confused with this species is the rare scarlet king snake, whose black bands touch red rather than yellow. Also, coral snakes always have a black face, another useful identifying characteristic. Once again, this species is extremely rare in NC, and is almost never spotted in the wild. Well everyone, thanks so much for checking out today's video. I really hope that I can help you learn more about identifying North Carolina's six species of venomous snake. Just remember that any venomous snake, no matter how big or how dangerous it may be, poses no threat to you or me when observed from a safe distance. If you respect their space, they'll respect yours. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.